Here we go.
add a little hop in the middle. Mm -hmm. Four, three, two, one. Relax the shoulders.
And after you forget what you're doing, you can always just stay with Thank you. 
arms. You don't want to keep the arms up overhead. You can keep it in here. Reach front, reach front. Next time, both arms front. Up overhead is a little harder. So if the shoulder bothers you, take that out. Legs out wider than hips, toes turned out. Start slow first. And then if you want to increase the intensity, it's up to you. Let's start over here. In four, three, two, and begin. So down, down, down with both arms. And then you can alternate with side leads. Just open it up. Using the upper body, lower body together. You can also just stay here. Both arms up and down. Then do that switch. And then maybe go a little quicker. The other option can just be standing, open and lift. The other option can be knee lifts. So keep the knee, knee, and then both. Either side, last 15 seconds. I like this one. Out, out. Breathe. My arms are starting to feel it, no weight. You got it, you 
got it. Go, go, go. some lifts in plank. I'll give options. So get some water, walk it out. When you're ready, you can come down to the mat. <sighs> All right. Where's my music? We couldn't have gone through all that already. <laughs> oh, maybe we did. Let's do uh We'll switch to, if I can find it. I think this should be okay. Um, and still keep us motivated. Working through 
that leg. In four. Three. Two. Hold. Ready to go up. Lift it up a little higher. Small circles with that leg. Now right push the foot. Circle that whole leg. Concentrate on thinking about drawing a circle with your big toe. And then reverse. Go the other way. The rest of the body doesn't move very much. Just that leg. I know it might be shaking a little. Four, three, two, hold that leg up. Or five, four, three, two, and rest. You can sit back on heels for a second, stretch it out. You feel good to lengthen out. One more side. We're going to make sure we're balanced on that left knee, left forearm, to lay down to get the support. Knee comes in first, then in, and extend, in, and extend. So you bring that knee in towards the other knee, and then you push it out through the heel. In, extend, in, extend. out, push, really think about pressing back as you push that leg back, Then nice and long, make sure you stay balanced, do a little bit on the left side, and right hand is there for support, four, three, two, hold, now we need to do those up. Up. Flex that foot. Lift the heel up towards the ceiling. Doesn't have to be fast. Doesn't have to be a big lift. Side. You want to make the knees up. You can make it into the knees. Press. Press. Squeeze it up. Lift. Nice long leg. Four. Three. Leg circle, and the whole leg circle, not just the toe, but you imagine you're drawing that circle with your big toe as the whole leg circles around. And then I'm going to switch and reverse. Go the other way, keep that leg lifted. Back up. So the idea is to really squeeze 
is at the top. Try not to arch the back. Keep that nice long line. Try to keep those knees in. I don't think there's anything that will reach off the top. Press. Knees off at the top. Arch the back. Bring the breath out as you lift. Last. Four. Three. Yeah. 
style. Let's see what the little back of the punch is. And obliques. So stretch it out. Case work, case work. Okay. In three. Two. One. One shot. down to four, three, two, and rest. Ah. You might even want to just stay here with forearms, lower body on the mat, and press so you can stretch the ears, abs. Oh, it feels good. Whew. All right. We're going to come up to hands and knees. Nice and easy. Look like this. One arm and one leg extends. Inhale on one side. Four. You bring the knee in and extend. So you come right through the finish off. And then we'll stretch. Okay? Alright, so let's do that like 30 seconds. Alright, get ready. And begin. So you can crunch in and extend. Crunch in and extend. Or if you extend and release, then you release. Okay. Reach and up the 
change of directions. I like this one, I think. All right. So from here, just um, stretching back, releasing through low back, hips, glutes. And then from here, we're going to come up to hands and knees. From here, just tuck in and hold, stretch through that low back and upper back, and then release and let it go. And then again, really squeeze it all in, tuck it in, and then release and let it go. One more time, really squeeze in, and then release. We're gonna come down to the mat. The hands are by your shoulders. Take a breath in and press up so you can stretch through those abs. Nice deep breath. Ooh, my arms are shaking. <laughs> and then slowly lower down. One more nice deep breath. Press up. You can come up on hands or your forearms. You decide where you need to lift. And then slowly lower down. From here, you can rest your chin on your hands or your towel or whatever you have. And then from here, we're gonna just lift the left leg into and towards you. So bringing that heel in, reach around if it's comfortable and then pull it in. So you press that leg into the floor to stretch that quad muscle from all those squats we did. Squats and lifts, should feel good. Tonight, a lot of it was low impact cardio, but I still got my heart rate up, so hopefully you did too. Using the arms up overhead or arms and legs together always works. Slowly release, switch to the other side, bring that heel in, pull it in if it's comfortable, relax the upper body, press that leg into the floor. Slow it all down. And then we're going to slowly release that leg. Press up to hands and knees. We're going to come over to sitting. You can take your shoes off if you want. From here, 
we're just going to take the long uh, the legs long from the hip and hinge forward round over if it's comfortable stretching through the hamstrings and the back of the legs nice deep breath as you bring yourself over should feel good in the back of the legs all the way up into that low back slowly roll up relax the shoulders leave the um, right leg long take the left leg over the body hug it in with that right arm stay tall and then turn and look over your left shoulder so now in the hips and glutes a little bit more and then that pocket there you want to stretch that out it's a nice rotation center, uncross, we're going to switch sides, put it in with that left arm, turn and look over that right shoulder, stay tall and lifted. Cross. We're going to come to standing. Take a strong leg forward and come up. From here, we're going to keep the legs out wide, wider than your hips. So we can lunge from side to side. Taking it nice and long, taking your time as you go side to side. Maybe a little deeper as you go side to side, stretching out your inner thighs. Nice and long. And then we're going to hold center, hands are above the knees, take your time, roll up, relax the shoulders, walk the feet in, I have to fix the camera, hold on a second, <laughs> so now you can see all of me and not just my legs. <laughs> um, from here, we're just going to take the legs out a little wider than hips and do a little rotation so you can turn, stretch out through those obliques with a nice little twist. You can come up on toes, make it a little bit bigger, really swing those arms around if it's comfortable. It should feel good as you add that turn, two more, and hold center, take a nice deep breath up, relax the shoulders, slowly open, one more nice deep breath up, relax the shoulders, Good. Thanks for joining me, guys. You guys rock. See you next time. Woohoo!